Okay, today we'll see how we can use uh, shape tools in Photoshop. All right. So to use shape tools, I will use from here. So here we have shape tools. And if you right click, you will see many shape tools are here. Hmm? We have rectangle tool, round rectangle, ellipse, polygon. So take rectangle tool and just draw a rectangle like this. All right. So if you want to change color of this, hmm, how I will change its color. It's not like Illustrator, like if you click here <coughs> and you want to change color and it will change. No, it will not change. Okay. If you have drawn shape like this and you want to change color, just you can change from the property bar top. All right. So click here and just choose any color which you want to fill like this. That color will be changed. So this property bar is very important to change color of the shape. Okay. From here you can change and also from properties panel. From here you can also change the properties of the object which you have created. If you click here and you can change also color like this. Okay. If you want to change color, you can change from this. Take this piece. Yes. <coughs> okay. So you can change color like this. Okay. If what kind of colors we can fill. So if you will. Uh, look at here so here we have first option is no fill color because this shape will have no you remove you switched off the colors then here we have solid colors if you click here you can fill a solid color or one plain color hmm? and here you have a lot of presets of colors like this you can choose any color we have presets and sample colors and you can choose from here like this hmm? if you want to make your own solid color then click on this color picker and from here you can choose any color and this is the code for your color and these are the ratios for example i want to fill this color click ok that color will be filled if you want to fill a gradient so this is about solid color one color if you want to fill a gradient you need to click on gradient tool okay and same we have also gradient samples like this so you can choose any sample from here okay or you can go down like this okay and you can choose also the samples for gradient okay you can make it bigger as well so here you have a lot of gradient patterns but if you want to use your own if you want to create and you want to mix it so you can choose any template from here if you don't want to choose so here you have also the gradient slider hmm? So here, if you want to change color, so click on this paint bucket, double click, and you can change color of this bucket. So double click on this bucket, all right, so you can change its bucket color like this. If you want to add a bucket, just click here and click here, you can add bucket as well. If you want to delete bucket, so click and drag, the bucket will be deleted like this. Hmm? Uh, click and drag like this. So if you click like this, you can have... Uh, preset of gradient okay we have gradients types also you can choose radial from here you can choose angular right and you can choose also from here we have deflected and here diamond shape as well all right so it's your own choice which you want to choose mostly we choose linear and from here you can change also the angle okay that's how you can fill the gradient in your design in shape and next thing we have which is called pattern you can also fill pattern in photoshop shapes click here and here you have patterns like this okay you can fill patterns in shape okay and you can also change their scale if you want to change scale look you can change their scale of filling pattern also you can change angle if you want to change angle of the patterns okay that's how you can fill shapes in photoshop all right Mostly students are confused to fill the color in the shape, right? And once you draw a shape like this, so always go into fill and choose from here solid color like this. If you want to make your own color, click here. So you can make your own color like this. So it will be filled. All right. So, and one thing more before drawing any shape, because you can draw, if you click on shape tool, this is the important point and make sure you have selected from here shape if you are going to draw shape not path not pixels click on shape 
if it's not make sure it's a shape otherwise you will not get for example many students are doing this mistake they are creating path then they are getting confused why we are we cannot fill it why filling not uh, options are not path we use for different purpose we'll see for which purpose we use but now you will whenever you want to create shape make sure you have selected shape from here all right and you can fill color only from here all right and also you have stroke color in stroke same you can fill four properties all right for example in stroke i fill gradient okay like this and you can also change its width of the stroke like this okay if you want to change its further properties come over here in properties panel in properties panel you can also change its height and width of this object which you have created you can also change its uh, fill color outline color and also stroke option you can change like this hmm? also you can change its position of the stroke from here you can change inside and you can change outside you can change uh, mid also also we have here uh, the caps of uh, and here you have also uh, if you have choose corners in illustrator we have studied this all right but one thing maybe you will face in this version problem uh, if you are creating like this rectangle all right and now if you want to change its corner into smooth then go to properties panel from here we have corner option so click here and you can change the corner from here like this all right so you don't want to uh, you don't need a fill just click here and no fill and go to stroke and just give a black stroke from here and increase uh, from here the width now you have empty round rectangle shape right yeah if you want to resize it of course you cannot resize freely like illustrator so you have to do control t whenever you want to resize is anything we need to press control t all right or if here uh, show transform control is active then it will show you with every layer so you can choose all right okay one thing more you will face problem now you have created this shape when you selected this shape the color properties are not coming here how do i change it then <coughs> keep in one mind uh, property bar always show you the property of the selected tool so which tool now you have selected move tool right so it's showing you the move tool properties so if you want to see the shape tool properties you need to click on that tool when you click on that tool then you will see property this is important point hmm? many students are getting confused also i'm clicking but i cannot see where to change the color from property bar okay change take the same tool shape tool even when we, you will write text here okay like you have wrote it some text and same you will resize it like this now if you want to change its color now you are in move tool you will not see but here you can change from the property panel but you are not in uh, text tool option so need to click type tool then you can change its color right only so make sure you are taking right tool to see the right properties on property bar same you can change the font from here if you wrote it something you can change style and you can change color also if you want to write paragraph text of course you can click and drag so it will give you paragraph text as well like lorem ipsum right so that's how you can write text also in photoshop again i want to change its color so i will go to uh, take same take click on then you can fill any color like this all right so this is important point same we have line tool also here you can create polygon all right if you want to create polygon we have also line you can create also line from here as well right so that's how you can use shape tools in photoshop all right and how you can fill solid color gradient pattern in shape and how you can custom customize shape in photoshop as well all right